fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty how silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> His faithful Indian companion, Toto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow. I'm silver. The largest building in the gold mining town of Winlight housed the Eagle Mining Company. It was here that Cliff Maynard, payroll clerk, Stop working long enough to talk to a very pretty young woman who had just ridden up to the doorway. I wish you wouldn't do it, Thelma. It's dangerous for a girl to be riding around these trails alone. Oh, nonsense, Cliff. I spend the whole day cooped up being a school teacher. I need the exercise. So does my horse. Don't you, boy? If I didn't have to work, I could go with you, but it's dangerous. There have been a lot of robberies lately, you know that, and... Oh, what's the use of talking? You will go anyway. <laughs> of course. But it's nice to know you worry about me. Please be careful, Velma. Don't worry. I'll be back before sundown. Come on, boy. Lone Ranger and Tonto approached Windlight from the east. It was unfamiliar country, and as they reached a small clearing beside the mountain trail, they reined up sharply. Oh, 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 Last thing I would expect out here, Toto. Uh, me not savvy. I'll read it, Kimo Savvy. It says $5,000 reward for the capture of the masked outlaw operating in this territory. Description as follows. About six feet tall, generally wears dark clothing, black mask, and rides a white horse. Always travels with an Indian partner. For further information, see the undersigned. Sam Weaver, Sheriff of Windlight County. Kimo Savvy, that me nuts? Certainly reads that way. We not ride this way for many moon. And I don't know Sheriff Weaver or this part of the country. The law doesn't offer five thousand dollar rewards unless hey, there's What that? You hear? Sound like a woman screaming. <coughs> Come on. Uh. Let me go. Calm down, sister. Are you? Who are you? 
Now, you have to keep quiet and you won't get hurt. Look, Toto, a man with a mask like mine and an Indian. Uh. Like I said, we're going to have a little talk with that fellow yours. If you think you can use me to make Cliff give you... I'm going to... Oh, Slugger, Barnes, I can't handle a yelling female like this. Yeah. No, you won't. Put up your hands, both of you. Uh, what the mask? An owl will drop. Drop her, Barnes. Come on. My ass. The girls in the way I can't shoot. Quick, Toto, trail those men. Uh, me do it. Are you hurt? I... I don't think so. Just scared, I guess. I couldn't shoot again. You were directly in the line of fire. I... Oh. Well, what's wrong? You, your... Your mask. Just like the man who grabbed my horse. Yes, I noticed the resemblance. I assure you it goes no further than the mask. An outlaw. And there was an Indian with you, too. Are you all part of the same gang? Tonto and I aren't outlaws. Cliff was right. He warned me. Tall man, wears a mask, travels with an Indian... The same description the sheriff... You mean the $5,000 reward notice? I was just going to ask you about it. Do you live in Windlight? I... Yes, I teach school there. Is the reward notice true? Has there been someone answering my description operating in this territory? Don't you know? My friend and I haven't been in this section for over three years. We stopped the other side of the ridge just before I heard you scream. You really don't talk or act like an outlaw. I'm not. Well... Regardless of what you do for a living, I, I'm very grateful for your help. Well, I wish I'd arrived sooner. Do you know what those men wanted? Oh, yes. They were very definite about it. They intended to hold me for ransom. Your family No, it's the to... man I... My fiancé. He works for the Eagle Mining Company. The ransom would have been the combination to the company's safe. I see. <laughs> if this situation weren't so serious, it would be funny. Do you think so? An outlaw and an Indian try to kidnap me. And I'm rescued by another outlaw and an Indian. Then I'm foolish enough to tell you all about Cliff. Oh, and... don't worry. I Thank think. Hello, that... what happened? A crook run plenty fast. Me follow him. Them have horses staked out, other side of river. Them get way. Hearts all right. They pick up their trail in one way or another. And one fellow dressed like Indian. That not true. Him white man. Yes, that was pretty obvious. The question is, why are they both using a disguise that matches us? I. Uh... Well, it's getting dark, and although there's no use pretending, I'm not frightened. I, I'd better start for we'll home. We'll run to town with you, just to be sure our doubles don't bother you again. Oh, is that your pony over there? Yes. Come on, I'll help you mount. All right, up you go. <clears throat> Thank you. As I said before, I really am grateful for your help, but... Well, aren't you and your friend afraid to be seen in town? No, and I'm very curious about that $5,000 reward. Here, Silver. Here, Scout. Not that I would say anything. I, I'm deeply indebted to you. I'll consider the debt paid if you'll allow me to see you safely home. Steady, big fella. Hey, she's got that I, I've never known anyone like you. We'd better be going. On, Silver. Get up, Scout. Get up, boy. This is the mine office. I'll stop here. Whoa, boy, whoa. Oh, who's got her oh, who's the Easy. This is the office of the mining company where Cliff works. I wish you could meet him. Thanks, He'd like to... I will. Uh, Toto, you'd better take a look around. Ah, me do it. <laughs> you don't have to worry up here. Sheriff Weaver's office is at the other end of town. Always best to be on the safe side. Hey, buddy. <coughs> yes. Look through window. Two fellers inside. One young, one old. Oh, that's Cliff and Mr. Cope, the foreman of the stamping mill. He's a good friend of Cliff's. It's all right. Come on, daughter. Uh -huh. Cliff, I want you to... Elmer, I was just telling Harry I ought to get... Mast. Who's this? I don't know his name. Really, I don't. But he saved my life, and... Well, that's more important than a formal introduction. You saved your life? I... This is Cliff Maynard, the man I told you about. The gentleman over there in the corner is Mr. Harry Cope. Howdy. Yeah. I can't believe it. I must be seeing things. Tell me, you must be crazy. This man's an outlaw. He's wearing a mask. That Indian standing behind him, they're the two men Sheriff Weaver's... That's what I thought at first. But the other two must be the outlaws because these men I... helped me. Are you sure you're all right, Velma? Here, if you folks will excuse me, I've got to be getting back to the mill. <laughs> I think Mr. Cope is scared. I don't blame him. You've been gone for over two hours. Come back with an outlaw and an Indian. Maybe I can do the explaining, Cliff. I wish somebody then would. And you and Velma could help me find the answers to some of my questions. Why, 
I don't know what you mean. Of course we'll help you. Good. What's the matter with you, Cope? That masked owl hoot and redskin you've been trying to corral. Yeah, what about them? They're up at the mine office right now, talking to Cliff Maynard. What? I just came from there. Saw him with my own eyes. Oh, you're loco. An outlaw wouldn't have the gold to ride He's in the He's there, I tell you. So's the engine. If you can get some men together, surround the office. You'll have them cold. Well, I... Uh... Gus! Oh, Gus! Yeah? Well, what's the trouble, sir? I don't know. Depends on whether Harry Cope's been seeing things. Round up eight or ten men for a posse. We're going up to the Eagle Mining Office. Sure, sure, right away. And listen, Sheriff, I'm laying claim right now to that $5,000 reward money. Don't worry, you'll get it. If those quitters are there, and I can toss a loop on them, come on. I was trying to help Miss Velma and help myself at the same time. I don't know who you are, mister, but you saved Velma's life. So I'm going to string along. Good. What do you want us to do? I think the best thing... Open the door and come out with your hands up. That's Sam Weaver, the sheriff. He's after you. How did he know that we were here? Is there a side door to this place? Over there, the one we came in. He must have a posse with him. We'll have to run for it. Come on, Toto. Uh. But how will we know where to find you? Don't worry, you'll hear from me. Let's go, Toto. Uh. Got the main trail blocked, Toto. Got to head now. Uh-huh. Come on, Silver. I'm up, Scout. Yeah, that's him. The light out of the box will kill you. Hit the leather, boys. After him. Oh, oh, oh. They've driven us into a pocket, Toto. This is a dead-end canyon. Uh, me not know that. Neither did I. Here we are, and with a posse on our heels. Steady. There must be some way out. Wall of canyon here, plenty steep. Can't climb it. There wouldn't be time enough anyway. They're closing in too fast. Top of canyon, plenty far off. Two, maybe three hundred feet. We can't fly. We're trapped, Tonto. It looks like there's no way out. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. As Sheriff Weaver and his posse moved steadily toward the canyon's dead end, the Lone Ranger spoke quietly to Tonto. There's just one chance, Tonto. One chance in a million. You're not savvy. Quick, help me with the disguise. Uh, let me help. You'll have to take the blame for a while, but it may work. Uh, mm. Thick space, plenty paths. That fix it. Good, thanks. You look like cowpuncher. Nobody know you, Lone Ranger. Fine. I hate to ask you to take a chance like this, Tonto, but it's the only way I can... Better this way. You go. Me wait. I'll keep down behind this cub pine till some of them pass me. Within the next few minutes, Sam Weaver closed the jaws of his posse man trap and the two fugitives caught at the blind end of Boxwood Canyon. The Lone Ranger in disguise waited until some of the men were almost abreast of where he was hiding. Then he joined them silently. In the darkness, no one noticed there was an extra man in the posse. There's the engine, Sheriff. Yeah, the other one is around somewhere. All right, Redskin. Reach. Uh, uh, 
We have hands up high. Now, where's your partner? Well, uh, the tow group, the mask. Where is he? Well, you better he... start jabbering, Red Skinner. Oh, no, 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 Gus. You won't get anywhere with an engine like that. Now, listen. You've got nothing to win by holding out on us. Where is he? Uh, me, no savvy. Hey, here's his horse. The white stallion. The varmint's got to be around here someplace. But he ain't. You suppose that masked critter's run a sandy on us? No, no, he couldn't. Hey, Sheriff, look at this. What is it? In the saddlebag here. A black mask. Well, well, I'll be... Du- must have ducked his layout and mixed in here with us. All right, line up, all of you. I want to see if there's any strangers in this crowd. Line up. Oh, Gus, light a lantern and bring it over here. I already got it going, Sam. Here. Where'd you round up these gents, Gus? Oh, all over town. Luggage cafe, livery stable, mercantile. I see. I can't see anybody I don't know except... Say, what's your name? Daigle. Faye Daigle. I work on the day shift up at the mine. I was in the cafe when your deputy I never saw you after. before, but you step out here. Slim, Curly, Osterman, Art Gal, Milt Samuel. Who are you? Oh, I'm a stranger in town. The deputy asked for volunteers. <clears throat> it might be true. Step out here. Sure. You and this Daigle gent are the only two here that I don't know personally. See, one of them must be the outlaw. How are you going to find out? I don't know if there is any way unless... Wait a minute. Bring that white stallion over here. The owl hoots horse. Yeah. Here. Get along. Come on. Get along. Here. That's it. That's it. Now, steady. Now, listen, you two. A man will tell a lie. But there's no such thing as a lion horse. I want both of you armies to climb on this cayuse one at a time. Well, what'll that prove, sir? A horse as good as this one looks to be won't like any strangers getting on him. He'll give us the answer. All right, stranger, you're first. Anything you say. Come here, horse. Steady a minute. <laughs> Buck silver, Buck. <laughs> Didn't take him long to make up his mind about you. I never got thrown so fast in my life. Let me talk to that horse a minute, will you? Now, Mr. Daglin, it's your turn. Straddle him. Steady, Silver. Steady, boy. I never saw this Cayuse before. Hey, this ain't fair. The critter thinks I'm somebody else. Steady as a rock, Sheriff. This one's our man. Now, wait. You can't accuse Horses me of Horses don't lie, Daglin. He recognizes you without your mask. You're under arrest. I'll get down from that horse. Put the handcuffs on him, Gus. Have him ride double with you. I don't want to take any chance on him getting away. Otto, uh-huh. do you recognize Deglin's voice? Isn't he one of the two men we saw this afternoon? Ah, this fella, him one who wear mask. Crook who dress like Indian, not here. We'll find him. At least we've got one of them spotted. Ah. Sit tight, Tonto. I'll see that you don't stay in jail very long. Oh, uh, say, Sheriff. Sorry I had to get you thrown off a horse, stranger. Oh, that's all right, been looking for my own bronc. Must have strayed off ground hitch. Mind if I ride this stallion into town? <laughs> Why not? Save us leading the critter. You think you can ride him? I'll try. Hmm. Oh, by the way. Yes? I'd like you to stop at my office. I want to talk to you. I'll be there before midnight if I stay on this guy. <laughs> it's fine. All right, boys. Let's herd the red skin and his owl hoop park back to jail. Steady, boy. Steady, boy. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. You were nursing a lead slug in your arm. Yeah, the sawbones got it out. Did you hear what happened? Sam Weaver and his posse just rolled in. I into didn't town. hear. I made it happen. You talking about? When that dumb owl hoot and his injured pod walked into the mine office, I didn't know you and Deglin had already tangled with him up on the trail. You don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. I did some quick thinking. Mighty quick thinking. It was a chance to have those freebooters blamed for all the jobs we've done around here. So I went right down and told the sheriff. Yeah, I know. So he corrals them. He's got him in jail. Ain't that what you were going to tell me? Yeah, part of it. And what's more, I'm collecting the $5,000 reward. <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> Not if you can get it. Well, can't I? You and Deglin and the meal split. Wait a minute. Who do you think Weaver's got down there in jail? A masked owl hoot and a redskin. The engine might be the right one. But the outlaw's Deglin, and he ain't wearing a mask. Deglin? How'd that happen? Don't ask me, but it's true. I was just talking to Gus Talbert, Sam's deputy. The sheriff's got the right man, and he don't know it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. But how long do you think Faye Deglin's going to keep his mouth shut? Especially if you go down there and claim the reward. Yeah. That gives me an idea, Bart. Fan out of here and put out that Indian get-up of yours. What's the idea? We'll break Deglin out of jail. Then tonight we'll go to work on that safe up at the mine office. Oh, we haven't got the combination. We'll blow it. Use blasted powder. Thought you always said blasting was too risky. It was. Until some tramp outlaws and Faye Deglin put a ready-made alibi right in our lap. Maybe Faye won't like the idea. He's got to like it. Faye Deglin's gonna be our alibi. A few minutes after he'd ridden back to town with Sheriff Weaver's posse, the Lone Ranger reined up a short distance from the office of the Eagle Mining Company. Oh, who's oh, 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 easy, steady. As he dismounted, he quickly replaced his mask, then knocked quietly on the side door to the office. Hello, Cliff. Golly, I was afraid we'd never see you again. How did you get out of jail? Everybody in town says you've been captured. Part of a mistake the sheriff doesn't know about. Cliff, you want to help catch the man who tried to kidnap Velma? Sure, sure I do. Do you know who they are? So far, I know one of them. But unless I'm wrong, they'll be here before the night's over. Here? What makes you think so? They're trying to get the combination of the safe this afternoon when they stopped you. Tonight, one of them's in jail. Unless I'm mistaken, judging by all the crooks I've ever known, it's an ideal opportunity for a double cross. I don't understand. Both of you wait here outside of the office. Don't make a sound or do anything, no matter what happens, until you get a signal from me. Have you got a gun, Cliff? Sure. Right here. Good. I don't think you'll have to use it. But remember, stay away from the building until you get a signal from me. But where? I mean, how now Don't I... worry. I'm sure it won't be long. Hey, what's this? Redskin. He looks just like the one... Reach, both of you. He's no engine. Shut he... up. Uh, keep reaching till I get your guns. <clears throat> now... now. Turn around and head for that cell back there. You sneak inside, Winder. Shut up and start walking. Break out the keys, law dog, and open it up. I will. I said open it. Go ahead, Sammer. All right, all right. So you finally decided to break me out. I wondered how long it would take. Hold it, Faye. Plenty of time for that later on. Bring that redskin with you. We need him. What use do we got for him? You find out. Bring him along. All right, Injun. You're coming to move. Now. now, you two law dogs can climb in that monkey cage. Get in. Now I'll run you critters down if it's the last thing I shut up. Come on, Faye. You too, Injun. Hey, Bart, what's the idea? Harry will tell you he's waiting for us. Where? Same place we figured on being tonight. Before you got yourself tangled with the law. Oh, it wasn't my fault. Some hombre mixed up with that posse for... Hey, what was that? Nothing. It sounded like a bird calling this engine answered. Ah, uh, don't pay any attention to him. All redskins are loco. Well, where's Harry? I want to know where we're heading. In case your memory's bad, it's the office of the Eagle Mining Company. Well, then why drag this Indian with us? You'll find out. Now, come on. Thelma, look. Those three men are stopped there by the office. The other man... Walking over from the corner of the building, who's he? I don't know who... Yes, I do. It's Harry Cope. What's he doing Two here? Two of the men who tried to kidnap me. I'm sure of it, Cliff. And the other one's the Indian who was... They're going into the office. Maybe it was a mistake, Velma, to trust that masked man. No, it wasn't. <gasps> Where? Where did you come from? I've been following those men who just went into the mining office. I think I recognize two of them. They were the ones That's who... That's right. If they're safe robbers, I can't understand why Harry Cope met them outside. Cope? The foreman of the stamping mill? Yes. He was in the office when you and Velma oh, came. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Now I understand a lot of things. What do you mean? You'll have to hurry. Velma, you go down to the jail. You'll find the sheriff and his deputy locked in one of the cells. Release them. Tell them to come here at once. I... All right. I can't figure this out. Harry Cope meeting those men. A sheriff in jail. What? It doesn't make sense. But it will. Wait right here till I call for you. Wait? Why? There's going to be a $5,000 reward paid to someone. It might as well be to you and Velma. Listen, I don't get the idea. 
idea of bringing this Indian up here on the job with us. You'll get it, Faye, in just a minute. Well, why break a dumb redskin out of He's jail? He's part just... of our alibi. Alibi? And you're the other part. Or you will be. Well, I don't get... Why, you dirty... Let him have it, Bart. Yeah. Try to <laughs> like a gun barrel across the head to cool him off. Now, the Indian. Quick, before he gets... Yeah, oh, you won't. Oh, oh, oh. That's the second time your arm's got in the way of my bullets. Mask! You're the outlaw that was... Cross to double cross, Mr. Cope. And you'd better not reach for your gun. Well, I hate it. Uh, tie them both up, Toto. Uh, me fix them. Oh, All we'll need uh, the other one is a uh, black uh, mask, so the sheriff will recognize him. Uh, here, I have an extra one. Uh, we'll have uh, to hurry. I don't want to be here when the sheriff and his deputy arrive. Cliff? How did you and Miss Velma do it? Yeah, how'd she know Sam and me were locked up down there in jail? I was told to do that. Oh, and I suppose somebody told Cliff to capture three of the crookedest snakes in Winlight County. Faye Deglin, Bark Mitchell, and Harry Cope. I didn't capture them. All I've done is hold this gun on them till you got here, Sheriff. What you're saying don't make sense, but hog tying this masked outlaw, the fake Indian, and Harry Cope makes $5,000 worth of right smart thinking. The reward money belongs to both of you. I'll tell the bank to give you a check in the morning. Five thousand dollars? Oh, Cliff, that means yes, that we darling. can... Yes, darling. Juniper, I still can't figure out how you did it. I can give you the answer in five words, Sheriff. Yeah? What are they? We met the Lone Ranger. <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.